Yes, boss. Hopefully for the world back in here again once again, man. You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? A narc is completely nothing without an empath. And this video, gotta give a special shout outs to Open Audio, all right? Open Audio commented on one of the videos last week, uh, one of the videos I did like last week or so, and he commented and stated, look man, a narc is nothing without an empath. And I never did a topic like that before, and I was like, yo, that would be perfect for this week, right? So here's the deal. There are some people in life who will play this role like you need them more than they need you. And in actuality, it's the opposite way around. There are people who will play this role like if I'm not around, you can't breathe. Or if I'm not around, you can't stand tall. And in real reality, it's the opposite. Some people need you way more than you need them. And these people that I'm talking about are narcissists. So here's the deal what you need to understand. A narcissist really is nothing without an empath, dog. An empath is what really completes a narc. Because an empath provides them with validation, um, uh, care, all of these other things that they're not getting from other people. And this is what puts them on a high, right? Now, here's the deal. An empath has to be a form of a good supply, meaning you got good energy, you're patient, you're caring, loving, all of that, because they need all of these tools in order to boost them up and make them feel like they're something. Then, once they get a hold of all of that and you put them to where it is that you need to put them, they feel like what they can do from there is undermine you, walk over you, gaslight you, manipulate you, all of that. These are all tools and tricks that narcissists need to keep tucked in order to manipulate and control you. Now, stick a pin. It's just like this. A narcissist is like an owner. This, I'm not disrespecting empaths. I'm an empath, but I'm just telling you from the aspect that they view this shit, right? A narcissist is the owner and the empath is like, you're, you're my property. That's literally what it's like. So I'm gonna spin that in another way. Picture like a, a owner and it's dog, right? A owner has what on its dog when he's walking them? A leash. So you can't get too far. I control you. You go, sh you go, you do, you, you do your business, then you come back inside the house. I'm controlling you. I'm holding on to you. That's how they view you. If you learn these little tricks that I'm teaching you and engrave it in your mind, you'll literally pull yourself out of certain shit. And I'm going to explain that to you. If you view yourself as somebody that's that's a somebody or you have worth, spin what I just told you and put that in your mind. Does that fit? Do they can they put a boss on a leash? Can you put a rebel on a leash? You can't put a rebel on a leash, dog. You can you put a boss a boss on a leash? No. What can you put on a leash? A dog. Are you somebody that'll do whatever it is that you tell them? Everybody who knows me knows this for a fact. I'm rebellious, dog. I'll listen to you. I'll ask questions. I'm not going to snake you or none of that. But when I feel like you feel like I could control D'Angelo, I'm going to show you who the fuck you're dealing with. I, I can't be controlled by nobody, dog. I'll tell any bitch that any day. That's my problem with women. A lot of women be feeling like, oh, you decent, you this. I could, you, maybe you could do, no. Maybe you can do something for me. You get what I'm saying? One thing I've learned in life is this, bro. And this is why I say it, people don't really don't really get me like this. This is how I was raised. There's only one thing a woman can give me, and that's pussy, dog. I could do damn near everything else for myself. I could cook. I could clean. I could do whatever. I could hustle and get money. I could do damn near whatever. It's only one thing that you could give me. And this is the thing I'm trying to teach you. When people see that you're too powerful, they try to put you on a leash. I can't control you. Once you can't be controlled, you're a problem. I'm going to give you another FYI. The people that they get rid of in the world are the people who cannot be controlled and the people who know too much. Those are the type of people they do not want in this society. One, you're a free thinker. Two, you're you're a critical think. You're a free thinking critical thinker. You smart. 
Nobody can't control you. You don't fall underneath guidelines that they set for people. What the fuck am I gonna do with you? You ever heard that saying? People don't know what to do with you. So it's like they, they can't they can't come against you this way, they can't come against you this way. They don't know what to do with you. That's what it's like when you're powerful, dog. You could do whatever the fuck it is you want. And people either gotta adhere to you, fall in line, or just keep that shit chucking. You can't come to somebody else's program and tell them, yeah, I see your program. It's a new sheriff in town. Get the fuck out of my face, my nigga. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm going to need you to do... Fuck out of here. I don't bend for nobody, dog. I might a little bit. I'll listen. But at the same time, I got my own way, my own plans in life. This is the thing you need to understand. Narcissists will try this game where they try to bend your mind or try to use manipulation on you. This is the thing you not you got to understand, bro. Manipulation only works on people when they're weak and it's not going to work on everybody. Literally, anytime this is this is how bad it's gotten for me, bro. Because I've been through situations where people have tried to manipulate me and gaslight me, the second somebody's on that trying to use their head on me, I pick up on words. And I let you ride a little bit until I know where you're going. I'm going to let give you a little bit more length on the rope, dog. You're going to keep going with the... Trying, let me see if I can use my words this way. I cut three females off that were friends like that. Whenever people feel like you stupid or... Yo, you're nice. This is a law that I've learned. And I'm going to teach you this. When people feel like you're nice... Let me see if I could try this on them. That's why a lot of people are assholes. Because people like to run this, you're nice, you're kind, you're polite. Hey, have you ever thought about, stop. Stop right there. I know where you're going with this. Don't play with me like this. I, t I forewarn people. I forewarn people. Don't play with me like that, bro. I understand people will try to, let me play a little joke. But you got to check it at the front door. Manipulation and gaslighting is a narcissist's main tool. And people have learned these games. Some people aren't really narcissists. Some people have just learned narcissistic traits. And they use it on people. And I'm going to teach you this as well. The reason why people use narcissistic traits is just as I stated before, to keep you on a leash, keep you down. Stay right there. Don't go too far. You ever realize when a person's recognizing their power or about to get up, that's when a person has to elevate their manipulation, elevate the gas lights, and turn up the knob on everything because they're losing control. In order to keep in power, you have to remain in control. And I'm going to give you free game on this. If you have so much power and can do all of this shit, why didn't you take this much initiative and control in your own life? You want to know why? Some people let their life spiral out of control. I do better when I, when I can manipulate somebody else, though. It's kind of weird, isn't it? I know it is. That's life. There are people who think like this. A narcissist is nothing without an empath, dog. Literally, I'm going to tell you what a narcissist is. You ever seen a chair with four legs? Those four legs that's holding up that sitting portion is the, is the empath, dog. You take away one leg, what's going to happen? That chair broken, dog. Take away another leg, that shit lopsided, dog. Take away another leg, bro, you can't even, what, that, what is that, bro? You need the other three legs. You can't do nothing with it. I'm going to give you another scenario of a narcissist and an empath. A narcissist could be the car. An empath could be the wheels. An empath could be the engine. The engine oil, the transmission. All of that, bruh. The battery. The alternator. An empath is everything, dog. That's what I'm trying to show you on camera. If you're a caring person, you're loving, you have more power than what you think you got. I'm going to give you another scenario. Can you walk outside right now, bend a block, and find somebody genuine, loving, and caring? Just, oh my gosh, that's a loving person over there. Oh, that's another one over there. Oh, that's another one way down there. No. Shit don't work like that. There's a lot of assholes, grimy, grimy, dirty foot-ass people in the world right now. Being genuine, whether you may realize it or not, here's another gem. Being genuine is like a lost art.
If you're genuine, genuine to the point where you don't want nothing from somebody, you can expect th expect this from me when I'm here and when I'm not here. I'm genuine. Do you know how much of a hot commodity you are? You're a hot commodity, dog. You don't got to put up with some, oh, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to manipulate you so you don't go too far. I'm going to give you free game, bro. If you're genuine, if you're a true, genuine person, good-hearted person, kind-hearted person, you got dummy value in this world right now. Picture Tesla was at $2 and now Tesla's at 1000 That's what being a good-hearted, genuine person is. Your stock went from like $2 to like 1000 and it's climbing by the day. You don't got to be around them fucking people. You know how good it made me feel? When I had people gaslighting and putting me down my whole life, I got away from them people just to see that they was using that to manipulate and trick me and put me down and drive fear into me since I was a kid. That shit will make you, that shit will make you, make you go crazy internally, dog. Why do you think I have all these, these voices like, hey, how you doing? Bro, sometimes I used to make voices in my room and tell myself, D'Angelo, everything will be okay, buddy. And in the midst of that, I'm still crying. Because I never, I never imagined my life like this. If you have somebody like a parental figure and her fucking dirty foot ass children gaslighting and around you, ringleader, just having them just down you and manipulate you and go down on you, bro, let me tell you something. That'll make you want to kill yourself, bro. If you don't know what that's like, don't play the manipulation games with people. It's a reason why they say be kind to people. Treat people kind. You don't know what's going on with people behind closed doors. That's why a lot of people get mad and get pissed and feel that burning sensation on the inside from the fuck ups that they did. That they know they should have never did it. Oh, this person was going through abuse. Oh man, I forgot man. Come on, bro. No. You had your chance to relax, bro. It got so bad to the point where somebody I was cool with, I had to get grimy on the phone and tell, bro, fool, you don't really know me like that. And when I said that, I followed it up with my own way of doing shit. I'm going to get your mama on the phone. Let me let your mom know what fucking time it is and put her on beat. If you love your child like that, talk to your fucking child because I'm not playing with him. Ever since then, Brian never came back around. I think your mom got, got, got you to understand the message in the time that I'm on. Don't play with me like that. Especially you want to pull up to my house unknowingly, unannounced, and I'm strapped up. I got glizzies and all. Bro, don't play with me, fool. Don't play with me, fool. Do not play with me, bro. You don't know where people are at mentally, dog. I'm strong enough and sane enough, but I noticed being raised in South Florida... People learn these dirty, grimy, wicked ass games that they play until they, they, they just checkmate this, they self out the situation. I don't have friends for a reason. I have one and two friends, bruh. Just know this. If I call you my homie or I pop out, pop out around you or I come hang around you, that's like a medal of honor, dog. I don't hang around people like that, bro. And that's just what it is. People have learned so much grimy, dirty ass games that they don't stop. They just keep that shit rolling. And that's why I'm telling you this. A narcissist is nothing without an empath, bro. You don't believe me? Ask questions. These are little rules you need to understand and apply in your life, dog. So you can never fall off and have somebody try and use you or walk over you. These are rules and things that I've learned in a screwed up way and I'm giving it to you so you can understand and not go through certain things that I felt. If you felt certain pains that I felt, bro, I promise you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be here, bro. And unless you're strong mentally, you have certain people around you, bro. Don't do grimy stuff to people and don't use people when you know you don't have their best interests at heart. It's going to backfire on you. That being said, remember this. Words can help you. They can hurt you, but here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion. Nobody's a loser, man. 444 The World. Remember this. In life, there are people who are going to need you more than you need them, but that's not the way that it's going to be. 
they're going to try and manipulate you to make you feel like, yo, you need me. That's the lie. You don't need me. You, I don't need you. You need me. That's the way how it is. If you're using manipulation and trickery on people, you need to stop. I just explained my story in a small stint. Pay attention to everything it is that I say and why I line up everything. Some people are going to hit a threshold or a point of no return. I hit my point of no return. If you hit a point of no return, that's going to be an ugly, scary sight, dog. I'm trying to put you on game so you don't hit a point of no return. Because if you play with somebody that was genuine with you and never would have hurt you, I promise they're going to put you through some wicked ass waters, dog. They're going to put you through hell, dog. Don't do them games, man. 444 to work.